In the previous video, I have created a milliohmmeter that can measure sub-ohm resistances. Although the device was working fine, it was lacking accuracy and it wasn't looking that great as it was a prototype. So in today's video, we will create a printed circuit board, do some changes in the circuitry to make it more accurate and make it look better. Let's get right into the video. After printing out the necessary PCB layout, cutting it out and transferring it to a PCB with the hot iron, it was time to wash it, cut it to size and etch it in the water and iron chloride solution. Drill all of the necessary holes, test fit the components, solder everything into its place and inspecting all of the work that had been done. After all of that, we could solder all of the necessary wiring, give it some power and test different resistances to make sure it's performing fine. Then put it in its enclosure, calibrate it for the last time and make sure it's working before we close the box. It was time to give it one last test and it's working perfectly. For all of those that are seeking the schematic, it will be included in the video description. So this project is complete. It looks very neat. It has a custom PCB inside and it's very accurate. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, perhaps subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.